Hello everybody. In the course of our S4 HANA migration, the question arose as to how much custom code we actually have in our system. This is actually a very interesting question and after a short search I came across to the code metric tool. This is a powerful tool for analyzing and evaluating ABAP code. We call the transaction slash SDF slash CD underscore CCA. Then we scroll down to the code metric button. We click on the button. And then I pick a package. In my case, I pick my example package dollar set up up examples with all my test programs and other stuff. Then I check some boxes, complex complexity of decision points, decision depths, ABAP statement complexity and database access. Okay, then we run the tool and the result is a list with package name. Um, it's a method, function module or program and so on. But the interesting metric are these columns here. For example, lines of code. This metric indicates the number of lines of code. It is a basic indicator of the size of the code and can help to identify large modules that may be difficult to maintain. Then the number of statements. This metric counts the number of statements in the code. A high number of statements can indicate complex logic that may be difficult to understand and maintain. Then the complexity of conditions. This metric measures the complexity of the conditions in the code. High complexity can indicate potential sources of error and make the code more difficult to maintain. Then decision depths. Um, this metric evaluates the depths of the decision structures in the code. A high decision depth can impair the readability and maintainability of the code. And before an S4 HANA migration, the tool is useful for assessing the state of existing ABAP code and ensuring that it meets the new requirements. It helps to identify complex and outdated code sections that may need to be refactored. So you can check the insert update or delete statements, for example. So next, I will quickly add up the lines of code from my example package. Okay, nice, almost eight thousand lines of code okay yes at the end as always don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and write something in the comments take care and see you in the next video